Rad Studio now fully supports High DPI. This means the entire IDE is now crisp and clear, perfectly scaled on high resolution monitors. You can see two comparison screenshots taken by Jim. On the left, the old version of the IDE looks blurry on a high res screen because it is visually scaled up by Windows. On the right, Rad Studio 11 natively supports high res screens and Windows high DPI scaling, and so is pixel perfect with crisp and clear text, images, and other rendering on screen, including the code editor and the form designer. This is a night and day difference when using the IDE on modern displays. On the technical side, since the IDE is mostly built with Delphi and C++ Builder, it uses the VCL, and so we are using the same per monitor version 2 high DPI support that you too can make use of in your applications. We also use the same image collection and virtual image list components for high-res icons. That is, the same very powerful tech, better than what's inbuilt into Windows, that is also available to you for your own high DPI apps. For those who write plugins, we have extended the Tools API to support adding high-res images, such as toolbar icons or logos on the Smash screen. Let's jump right in and have a look. I'm recording this on a 4K monitor. The stream you're watching right now may be lower res, but we'll have a replay up on YouTube, and hopefully you'll be able to stream that at 4K resolution to see the IDE in all its high DPI glory. Windows is set to scale at 200%, so everything is drawn at double the resolution. That means two pixels horizontally and two vertically for every pixel at low res, or a total of four high res pixels per low res pixel. As you can see, the IDE draws very clearly. I'm zooming in here so it's visible even when streamed. You can see that the text, even when zoomed in, remains very well rendered. We replaced our icons using the VCO virtual image list components. I don't want to focus on icons too much. They're definitely not the most important of the things we'll show today and most are just higher res versions of the old ones. But we do care about usability and design in the IDE. And the core actions of the IDE, like running with debugging and stepping over a line of code, have new icons designed to clearly represent what they do. The most interesting part of High DPI support is the form designer. You can use the VCL form designer in High DPI, and there are also several options so you can change the behavior to suit your own setup and requirements. Here's a VCL form. If you remember, the IDE is running at 200%, and you can see the form is displaying the same size, the same scale as the IDE, so it is being designed at 200% too. Uh, when you run the app, it will scale up or down to match the scale of the screen it is being run on. However, the DPI it's being designed at and control positions and size are saved in the DFM file, and you may not want those values to change just because you open a form at high resolution or you may want to design all your forms across your entire team at a specific DPI for consistency across your team, even if different team members use different displays with different DPIs. You can change this in the options dialog on the user interface form designer high DPI page. I'll change to design at 96 DPI. That's low DPI, in other words, smaller than the IDE is scaled to. You can see the form designer updates and the form is now scaled at a low DPI scale. You're not limited to that though, and you can set a custom DPI to use for your form designing. This is useful so that all your team members design using the same settings despite having different hardware. Here, I've decided I'll design all my forms at 144 DPI, or 150%. The form designer supports high DPI for forms, frames, and data modules, and can design at any DPI you wish, even if that DPI is different to the DPI the rest of the IDE or the rest of Windows is using. The default is to design at low DPI, but you can easily change that as we just saw, and we recommend either just using automatic or choosing a value that your team as a whole will agree on. We haven't covered the PhiMonkey designer, but that's a simpler scenario than Windows VCL scaling, and it just scales to match the IDE scale.